Welcome to the channel, you guys. Lynn here with a brand new video. So for today, we are doing a Christmas edition to the inspiration series that I've started here on my channel. So let's go ahead and get prepared for all of that. This is going to get you guys ready for the Christmas season for 2024. So I have some amazing Christmas decor ideas here for your home, and we have a lot to tackle today. So let's make sure to get the basics out of the way. First, go ahead and make sure to subscribe if you are not subscribed already. And um, I am so excited to have you guys here on this platform with me so let's go ahead and get started so for today we are tackling the outdoor section of the home definitely the front door is a basis for us and then we're also going to tackle the indoor section the living room the kitchen the bedroom as well as the bathroom Christmas is definitely a time to embrace. It is a time of welcoming in warmth and kindness into your home as you get ready to end the end of the year. So you definitely want to embrace the decorations outside. So including things like beautiful wreaths and taking advantages of some of the bushes you have outside and ambient lighting is definitely going to be the key points here. So you are welcoming your guests into your home. You want to be able to make that evident by adding some beautiful lighting as well as a few decorations. So I can show you guys here that you are going to want to add some beautiful wreaths. These add such bright colors to your space. Um, I think that having your home decorated is definitely such a really nice touch to your community and it just welcomes in your guests and lets them know that you are in the holiday spirit. So you guys are going to want to include some beautiful ambient lighting as you guys will see here. Um, the ambient lighting is just a really nice touch to the outside of your house. It just brings in that warmth and that really nice feeling of being welcomed. So the wreaths, you can really go big or go home here. Um, you can definitely do some ornaments. You can definitely keep it a little bit more minimalistic or you can definitely add some brighter notes and tones. As you can see here, there are lots of lamps on the ground. There are trees. So you can do fake trees. You can do real trees. I really love this classic look here where you can see the poinsettias. You can use a lot of different planters to add flowers to them and as you can see the stairs are kind of lined up with those beautiful lamps as I was telling you guys before and then of course the bright red ribbons so ribbons are definitely a nice touch to add to any look so here we are looking at the door decoration so if you're not going to decorate your whole home um, it can be nice to just do something in the front door so then it is just a really nice touch where you can add some pops of red and greenery so this is definitely really helpful um I really like this color here too. Um, you can add in some fake trees that have been flocked and um, you can definitely add in some poinsettias as I said before. What I love about inspiration videos like these is that you get to create and plan ahead on what you would like to maximize on when the holiday season comes around. So if you see that you love different types of lamps, you can figure out how you can DIY your own or figure out what different types of um, stores or anything like that that carry these ideas that you want to bring together. So definitely finding out different ways that you can make your own decorations is a good way to budget. Um, for example, I really like the look of this how they have the tree set up on the side with some wooden boxes. Um, you can also use some planters to make some um, big boxes that can hold different types of decorations, whether those are mini little trees or kind of um, taller wooden sticks. You can definitely take notes on what types of ideas you want to kind of bring together. So again, like I said in the previous um, video with the fall decorations, you can do um, some signs that have already written out all of the text and messages that you want to get across. So like a Merry Christmas sign like this is definitely really nice that you can use. You can definitely switch it up and kind of do some different colors. And what I say again with the door decorations is that you can definitely repaint your door if you think that is necessary to kind of bring in your colors and what Whatever palette you're kind of going for this year so definitely taking notes is a really great idea so with this look right here I absolutely love the lighting here um, it is absolutely beautiful you can definitely do something that is a little bit more simple I love this look here um, the wreath matches with all of the other garland that is kind of swung over the door so it just gives a very put together and elegant look I also love this look right here it is very simple very minimalistic you can kind of take notes from the pine cones that they're using 
using some of the chopped up wood that they have. Um, I know that you can kind of create your own and kind of put them in boxes and stack them like that. So taking notes is just a very great idea. So I added this in there just in case anyone also loves kind of doing bold um, ideas for Christmas. So you definitely don't have to go simplistic if you don't want to. I absolutely love how you can use these giant ornaments and kind of stuff them in there and just kind of create this like whimsical look and the door kind of looks enchanted. So it is just this beautiful um, mix of colors. So you definitely don't have to shy away from other colors if you're celebrating for Christmas. So I absolutely love this bow here. Um, I've seen a lot of people do this kind of trend, um, tying a bow around the door. I think that this is such a beautiful piece of decoration. I definitely want to implement this somewhere around the house this year too. So I love how they're using that blush pink to kind of bring about those beautiful and whimsical look about that um, look. So um, here is another door. This one is kind of going for the Candyland theme. So you can definitely um, go for a more Candyland theme here. So I really love how they're using these pieces to just kind of bring about that like playful aspect of Christmas with the candy. So peppermint candy is definitely a really nice um, trend that I've seen a lot of people kind of lean more into. So you can definitely create a world of that. I absolutely love um, how these candles are wrapped up with like the peppermint look. So you can definitely embrace whatever style and look that you would love to have for Christmas. So again, with the garlands and the lighting, it is definitely really nice. So I love when you're able to buy outdoor decor that comes with its own lighting setup so that it doesn't have to be too complicated for you to put together. Um, definitely solar things are also really nice to do. So you can definitely figure out the lighting for that. Jumping into looking at some wreaths. So for this one, you guys can see you can definitely use some bright red colors, some gold leaves definitely add a lot of texture. Um, when you are making wreaths, you definitely want to add some different variations of different things in there so that it can kind of give it a nice depth and look. So like with those cherry picks, it's definitely a great idea to use. Um, also here we have this beautiful wreath. I really love the simplistic look of this. So like I said in my previous video, you guys can definitely use some ribbons to just add beautiful details to your wreaths. Um, this one is a little bit more unique. It's not as round, so you can just kind of use a bouquet of flowers and then just stack them together like that. I absolutely love that idea. Um, this one here is kind of using the flannel color to make a ring, and then you just have this beautiful bow in the center. Um, and then again with the cherry picks and some of the pine cones, as well as um, I think that kind of looks like eucalyptus, but I'm not really sure. But you can use different types of greenery to kind of stuff in there and make some beautiful details. Um, like this one here is very simple. It's just using a bow, a couple of cherry picks. So you can make sure you can um, set up whatever look that you kind of want to go for. This one is really nice. You can also use this on like your bathroom doors, your kitchen doors. Buying your wreaths, you can definitely buy them or you can make them. Um, but when you're buying them, definitely make sure that they are the right size for you and the right fit for the decoration style that you're going for. So definitely planning is definitely something that you want to focus on when it comes to decorations like these. So like I said, it is very important to kind of do inventory of some of the things that you have. You can kind of revamp them and get new inspiration for different things like that. So this one I thought was a really cool wreath. I really love the foliage on this one. Um, the leaves look really unique and very like pointy and sharp and I really like it. It just kind of really makes its own statement. And then again with kind of like that simple bow at the top, it really looks really nice. Um, another style of wreaths that I've been seeing on my Pinterest is a lot of like different baskets. You can use baskets to kind of add in different styles so it's easier to kind of just like stuff everything in there and have an easy decorations that you can hang up. So using things like command hooks or different like sticky tacks you can use to kind of add this to your door is definitely a really simple idea. So this works for both people who are homeowners and people who are living in apartment styles. So yeah, so this is definitely a great idea for you guys to try out. Um, this one also I thought was a really nice idea. Like I was talking earlier about the planters. You can definitely get different styles of planters to kind of cut on costs and just be able to add your decoration on top, place a big balloon or a big ornament on top, and then it will give you that kind of like whimsical Christmas look. So I really love this decoration style.
Okay, so going right along with everything here, I love all of the options that we've seen here just now of all of the formats that you can use. So I really like this one. Um, it's really nice. I love the composition and everything of it. So it says, Dear Santa, we've been good. So I really love just like the funny aspect of that. Um, you can definitely go ahead and try to like copy something like this, um, replicate it onto like a blank um, format for yourself. I think they're really, really cute. So um, you guys can definitely just jot down some ideas that you feel like you absolutely love so this one again letters to santa i thought this was a very like funny and like incorporative way that like you can incorporate some different types of like funny or like fun aspects to your decoration so you definitely don't have to be like 100 serious all the time i think this is such a fun idea that you can utilize um so yeah the formats definitely kind of welcome your guests into your home and kind of let you know your sense of humor um this one i thought was really nice um you can use this as like a bathroom mat or you can use it as an outdoor mat so there are a couple of other options that you can definitely put together and kind of see you can also replicate this one on an outdoors floor mat um, which would be really really useful so um, these are really great ideas that you can put together like a gingerbread house as you see here um, next again with the floor mat with the door you can definitely incorporate some beautiful planters with some elegant and elevated um, looks to these so I've seen people do these with like different Dollar Tree items so you can definitely and try those out and then I also love the idea of filling the lanterns with some beautiful decorations so as you guys can see here there are so many beautiful options that you can do and then here we also have this beautiful reindeer that is absolutely radiant and beautiful so you can definitely incorporate different types of like um, aspects to your Christmas decorations that'll just kind of brighten up the spirits and kind of lift everyone's spirits towards the holiday season so I love these Christmas trees right here I think they are such great ideas that you can definitely Definitely incorporate into your decorations you can definitely do something that's a little bit more silly or something that's a little bit more fun like these with the Christmas elves kind of diving in there and then you have like kind of like the candies so we are all done with the front door now we are hopping right into the indoor section so this is all about the inside the living area the kitchen the bathroom so we're gonna separate it we are starting out with the living room right here as you guys can see so this one is a very neutral base but you can also kind of do some something a little bit more um, glamorous so I love this look right here it is giving me kind of like an apartment chic kind of look so it's very beautiful I love all of the textures and colors going on here so you can definitely do a garland like this with some natural oranges and then just kind of like add some fairy lights to it I also love how you can see the disco ball in the background as well as the tree so yeah so these are some ideas that you can do to kind of like add some fun um, concepts to to your um, living room area so this is definitely something that you can craft for yourself or kind of like figure out where you can shop for them um, I can leave some links to some similar items but no promises that I'll find the exact item but I will definitely try my best to do that so for the living room of course we're talking everything Christmas trees so you can kind of incorporate different types of um, ornaments to your tree um, kind of match it with like the tones of everything that you have in your living room area so um, you can definitely feel free to do as much or as little as you would like to. I definitely love it. If you have a fireplace, I am so jealous of you because I love fireplace during Christmas time. So um, I think this concept is really cute and adding some stockings or different things like that is definitely a really great option. I also love like the tea light houses. Oh my goodness. I love these so much. They're so cute. You can add them. These ones are like little ceramic ones. So so they're really cute. They just add a little fun detail to everything else that you have in the area.
As you can see, the living room is the focal point where the family is going to gather. This is the tree that's going to be holding all of the presents. So this is definitely a place where you want to kind of add more accents into it. So definitely go heavy on what your main focal point of your aesthetic is. So the living room was definitely very inspiring. I hope that you guys will get some notes from it. Right now we are jumping into the kitchen slash dining room area. So right now now we are going to take a look at some of the decorations um, that can really enhance your Christmas um, decorations inside the living room and the gathering place for eating. So you want to kind of bring this space together by using some candles. Um, it is also very important to kind of like embrace everything and kind of add just kind of a, an inviting spirit of um, eating together. So I love the details of like the things that you can use for hot chocolate you can use kind of various different styles of decorations so this one's just kind of like a little gingerbread theme you can kind of go with anything at that point i know that for the holiday season baked goods is definitely kind of a focal point something that people really do look forward to so you can kind of incorporate that into your decorations as you guys can see here on the table where you have some wreaths and garlands kind of spread out with the lighting of course and then you can add in some beautiful dinner napkins and just kind of add some other beautiful features like snowflakes or hot chocolate or just kind of like incorporating different seasonal things into your decorations so this is definitely something that i look forward to every time is the dining room and hosting areas so i love this look right here where you have this christmas tree that is kind of like a little cheese platter so incorporating beautiful things like this into your home is definitely really welcoming for people um so if you are someone who hosts a lot of family and friends then you can definitely um, kind of splurge on items like these that kind of make a bolder statement and you can kind of just keep rotating them and using them um, throughout your home so like for example here in this corner you have kind of like a coffee and tea section where you get to utilize that space for your regular decorations you can kind of use it as a functional space also to kind of use as like a coffee hot chocolate bar so it's really really nice to incorporate those notes in there and then the rest of the video you guys are just gonna see a really nice selection of ways that you can decorate your table um, you can kind of go rustic you can go glamorous you can go kind of like festive with just green you can use just reds a lot of blues um so yeah really the possibilities are endless for how you can mix and match colors to kind of achieve the look that you are going for if you like this video don't forget to give it a like and let's continue watching this beautiful series soon.
Okay, so I just want to get into the nitty gritty details with you guys on how you can kind of embrace these two spaces where it's the living room space and the dining room space when you are hosting people. So to enhance your decorations, you definitely want to incorporate things like centerpieces that are kind of just going to bring a welcoming vibe for everyone. So as you can see with this picture here, there is this wooden box here filled with pine cones and candles. You can also add some stems to it and like you guys see here the candles are definitely an important feature to bringing everything together because it is the winter and lighting it matters a lot so you're definitely going to want to um, kind of invest in some vases that you can add some candles to them so I definitely love like taller candles um, just so that it can last you a pretty good amount of time and I know that candles are things that you can definitely reuse so definitely make sure that that you have enough candles around your home or you know you have some that maybe you've used in previous years that aren't used so you can definitely go ahead and try to figure out how much you have in stock um, I definitely love this concept right here with the floating candles it just adds a little bit of elegance so now this one it would be something you would do when you have guests over and you want to set up something really nice um, also with the same concept here you have the different kind of vases um, I know that Amazon carries different different types of vases so I will try to add those links to the description box down below um, but anyways so I hope that you guys are feeling inspired to just kind of go outside the box a little bit when it comes to decorating um, there really isn't any limit to how much different things that you can kind of bring together so as you guys can see here um, just bringing together vibrant reds and greens together is just such a statement piece for the holidays um, again here with the plates you can and definitely kind of do something different with that and just kind of add some different patterns and textures like here you can see that the plate has like the striped look to it and then you also have those beautiful polka dotted red and then in the middle of the plate you can also add like a little truck like you see here um, there's different things that you can do for plating things so you should definitely check out my channel for some Christmas decorations that I've done in the past I will share them again here um, but in another video so definitely make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss that but again here as you guys can see with this beautiful picture we have two jars that are painted white so this is where spray paint is really going to come in handy for you guys so spray paint you can take any jars that you've had and just kind of give it a fresh new coat of paint and kind of reuse them as centerpieces centerpieces just love to be ornate and like very expressive so don't shy away from those patterns um and then again here with the dining table um, you can add different types of um, charger plates that are absolutely gorgeous so I will try to find some similar charger plates here for you guys here so um, if you have anything in this video that you would like me to um, find for you if it's something that I haven't linked yet um, definitely check out all the links I do have a couple of things that are going to be tagged in my like to know it so definitely click that one so that you can see a lot more options I am going to try to find everything here for you guys so this is going to be really a challenge for me to go ahead and try to figure out um, some of these items here but we will definitely get through it so um, definitely here you guys can see in this picture there's just some beautiful colors going on here and I absolutely love them um, you can also go the simplistic route and play around with just your fairy lights and just having a beautiful um, centerpiece is something that is definitely going to be the number one beauty out of all of the decorations that you end up doing so centerpieces are definitely important so yeah like I said before you can definitely use some ribbons I do know that um, Dollar Tree carries some ribbons Walmart carries ribbons and now if you want to buy in bulk it is probably a little bit easier to buy off of Amazon or different websites like that so I will try to tag some similar ribbons that you guys can use to um, entertain during the holiday season because that is very important and then you also have your plates and your water glasses which are also really nice statement pieces when you are putting all of these looks together um, like you guys see here we have the Christmas tree and a very simplistic um, centerpiece as well as a table runner so one thing that I want to tell you guys about this type of inspiration video the purpose is not to make you like a different style but rather when you see maybe like a table runner like this you can incorporate it with a different color of 
something that you like. So just getting inspiration and ideas on how you can kind of make different things work for your home. So again, with this picture here, you can see they are using the ribbons to kind of tie it together with the dinner napkins. And then you also have the beautiful textures of the wreaths. You also have some um, like some of the cherry picks in there. So it is absolutely beautiful. Christmas is something that once you start decorating for it, you just kind of get into the rhythm of matching things and making things look very nice. And um, really the holidays is all about the memories you're able to create. And it's all about being able to gather people together and, you know, just sharing some um, wonderful memories with each other. So I think that that is really important to just kind of embrace the season for what it is. Um, you don't have to really like force it to happen, but it is important to kind of plan it out and see what you can kind of come up with. And then once you step back and see everything come together, you're definitely going to be really proud of yourself when you see just like the beauty of what you're able to do with your hands. I think that is honestly one of the most important things that I do love about decoration is just being able to be proud of what you were able to accomplish with the different things that you were able to purchase and or create with your own hands. So yeah, definitely keep on watching. We do have a few more ideas that we want to get started. Um, I'm going to show you guys some beautiful um, centerpieces that are coming up. So definitely enjoy the rest of the video. We still have the bedroom and the bathroom, which I'm super excited to show you guys. So let's get through some of these um, centerpieces ideas and then we'll get to go talk a little bit more about the other parts of the house. So this is a perfect place to start talking about the bathroom, personal, guest bathroom. It is all important. I love when every aspect of a home is nicely decorated for Christmas. So here I've got some dainty um, accents that you can switch up when it comes to um, decorating your bathroom for the holidays. So if you have any kind of hardware pieces that you want to switch out to just kind of elevate the look of the Christmas decorations like gold hardware, silver, whatever you are kind of into this is something that's going to help you kind of ornate and decorate your bathroom next we are talking about everything um ornaments so as you guys can see here these kind of glass vases have like a ornament style to them so if you are into a more elegant kind of decoration for your bathroom and you have a lot of space for these ornate type of look then you can definitely use these um, they are so beautiful and simple, very sparkly, very nice to use. And in the bathroom, don't be afraid to add things like different wall sconces or anything like that, like little decorative shelves that just kind of give an elevated room to your bathroom. So renovating your bathroom just a little bit with some like Amazon finds is a great way to kind of like switch things up a little bit. So I just wanted to tell you guys like before you style your bathroom, sometimes there are some things that you can just kind of 
of change out and just kind of give it a more elevated look. So for the decoration portion of it, you definitely want to use things like mini trees. I know that this kind of just gives like a more um, just like beautiful and festive look to your bathroom. Like you see here with these trees, I did want to show you guys what it would look like if you did some kind of like pink decoration inside of your bathroom. So you can definitely use different colors when it comes to holiday decorations. You can also ornate your shelves with these beautiful glass ornaments here. Um, once again, if you are using glass materials, make sure that they are, you can use like an adhesive at the bottom of them so that you can prevent them from falling off your shelves and breaking. So, um, but yeah, if you don't have kids or you don't have pets or anything like that, so you don't really have to worry about that, then don't. Um, but just be careful when you are using like glass ornaments or anything like that. Um, I did want to give you guys some more like elevated, elegant styles um, that you can do in your home for Christmas. Um, definitely in the bathroom, you can use things like these gorgeous ornaments. You can kind of like hang them in the ceiling and um, you can also just kind of like plate them on like a mirror or something. I know that mirrors are really nice to use in bathrooms. 3D effect to it so you guys should definitely use that um, and then again here with this kind of like ornate Christmas tree you can kind of add these to your shelves and just kind of like add like a glamorous aspect to your decorations um, but if you're not into all of these different styles you can definitely kind of replicate them with something else that you would like for example with this tree I've seen something that's opposite of it you can use like a wooden tree or anything like that um, again sticking with like the glamorous style you can, like I said, use like mirror trays or anything like that. These are things that you can definitely thrift. Um, you can use these different like gold dishes and things like that to kind of hold like ornate like bathroom essentials and things like that. So this is definitely a style that you could grow into and kind of like put in more research into it. It's kind of giving like old Hollywood glam. Um, anyways, so yeah, here is the style. Again, you can kind of do some different things. Um, if you guys want me to do more styles and more ideas that are kind of more outside of the box. I can definitely do another video for that. Um, but this is definitely just to inspire you to kind of um, create these really nice spaces, especially in your bathroom. You want it to kind of like um, just give off like a really nice sense of like homey and, you know, holiday chic. So um, again, with the bathroom, installing things like shelving is definitely going to help you decorate. So obviously a shelf like this with the clear glass shelves, you can add so many different types of decorations on there like gingerbread houses different styles of gingerbread you can use little mini christmas trees you can use like those um, i think it's like a bottle brush trees like you can definitely decorate with those and then if you're more into like an open style you can kind of do like a vase with like a bouquet and like you see here um they have like different floor mats or like bathroom mats which are really nice and then also your towels can kind of incorporate that holiday festivity vibes to your bathroom so that's always really nice and then sticking with the blue theme you can add things like a nice tray with some candles in it and this is definitely going to help you kind of um, see your vision coming together once you add some candles um, what you want to do is just kind of like fill in the blanks with anything else that is like little so if you have like kind of a grand bathroom then definitely using little accents like candles and such is definitely going to make a big difference um things like these vases here you can do kind of like some potpourri you can do the same style of vase using some ornaments or anything else that you find to be helpful or whatever that you see that is a nice style that you can use um so yeah i definitely enjoyed giving you guys some of these styles here as you can see it is definitely up to you um you can do whatever you would like to um but yeah so here we have some more um, ideas here like these um, beautiful frames are super super trendy you can definitely kind of put those up on your wall and have them be mismatching and just kind of gets the message across with the snow and the trees I think that this is just such a beautiful concept to be able to imitate so yeah it's definitely a really nice style now if you're more into like the coquette light glam you know style then this is definitely for you so um, these um, hand painted ornaments are definitely 
definitely so beautiful. They are absolutely gorgeous and you can definitely style these on like a tree that you have in your bathroom. So for the rest of this video, I'm going to show you guys some more styles that you can do in your bathroom. For example, with this one, um, they definitely went with like a red, white, and a little bit of green. You don't have to go this extreme with like your reds, but you can definitely kind of incorporate different styles using things like the towel warmer, any other shelves that you have is definitely really great. And then also like your hand soaps and anything else that you can use to kind of like bring about the season's greetings to your bathroom, your guest bathroom is definitely a really nice touch that you can really incorporate into your decoration. So let's continue watching and I will be right back with some more more details for you guys. Okay, so this is like my 10th time trying to redo this voiceover, but I wanted to tell you guys that I, I saved the bedroom for last because I believe it is the cherry on top. So this is the room where you're going to be spending most of your time in, and especially in the winter season where it is really cold, Um, well, especially where I'm from, it's definitely freezing temperatures. And if you're not at work or at school, you're definitely going to be spending more time in your bedroom. So you definitely want to make it a welcoming space. So whether you are saving this bedroom for guests or you are using it as your own personal bedroom you definitely want to put a little bit of effort into making it look really nice so that you can kind of be in the holiday spirit so i know that the bedroom for me is one part that i really love of the house to decorate i love decorating my own bedroom because it is just such a really nice treat to be able to um, stay in a space where it is nice and welcoming so you decorate the bedroom you definitely want to start out with some bed sheets i know that this is gonna be the most um, important part of the bedroom decoration because this is a piece of decoration that you want to be comfortable in. So you want to get a so you're going to want to get some really comfortable pillows um, you want to switch out your bed sheets and get some decorative pieces for that. So you can also incorporate some beautiful throw blankets because it is obviously, you know, a colder season. If you don't live in a colder season, I definitely would rather have the warmer climate during the holidays because that is what I grew up with. But for now, I am definitely um, taking in the winter season. It definitely has its perks like cuddling and watching a a beautiful Christmas movie or anything like that so watching the snow outside so um, but definitely go ahead and invest in good comforters um, you can get yourself some nice um, pillows some throw pillows in there but with the bedroom you can do some patterns on your bed sheets that are just gonna be really cute and fun to use so this is definitely the part of the video where you guys that you have the option to choose whatever style 
style that kind of floats your boat um, so yeah if you're into gingerbread men then definitely go ahead and do that I have some flannel patterns there are some tree patterns like you guys see here um, you can definitely do something that is a little bit more elevated you can do something that is a bit of a muted tone for the bedroom you definitely want to have some like matching shins that you're going to be able to use so definitely go ahead and take a look at some of these ideas and let's see what we can come up with and let's see what i was able to come up with so for the styles here i just threw together this catalog you guys can kind of see um these ideas if you look deeper into these pictures you can see little side tables lamps and little Christmas trees you can add in see that reindeer right there um, you can add in some different textures but this is where wall art is definitely really important you can kind of elevate your space by switching out your wall art adding some Christmas inspired photos or different things like that and then again giant throw blankets are always a plus in the bedroom um, bright colorful um, patterns of pillows and different you can switch out your pillowcases usually you don't have to kind of spend too much money on bedding because you can just kind of swap out the pillowcases or you can swap out like your comforter so you can definitely do a little bit of like a switcheroo for the space and everything will look really nice again for the bedroom you definitely want to add in some lighting and this is just like a really cute and simple way that you can make your space look really nice and bright Right. Um, so yeah, whatever style you're into, it is definitely something that you can kind of invest in and see what you can kind of come up with. Um, I know that for me, like having my bedroom be nice and clean is something that I really do appreciate. It helps me get my work done better. It helps me kind of have a clearer headspace to be able to kind of tackle whatever I have on my day. So I think investing in some cute pieces will definitely give you the motivation to be able to kind of, you know, just kind of get things done and everything. So um, as you guys see here, I really love those two side table lamps. I really, I really think those are a really cute idea that you can do. Um, also with the garland, I think that this is a really cute idea. Again, with the Christmas trees, you can definitely add some Christmas trees to your room. Um, add in some beautiful um, little side tables that will be able to hold all of your cute little trinkets and everything so yes the bedroom is definitely an important piece to your rest and your relaxation during the holiday season so definitely don't neglect it especially um, for your guests they need a when they whenever you have people over and they need a place to um, lay their heads it's always really nice to have something ready and prepared for them um, I know that I really appreciated a couple of times that I've was that I was able to stay over at a friend's house or something so it is definitely a nice thing to have a welcoming space to welcome your guests um, again here you guys can see this beautiful flannel pattern um, there are some little checkered patterns here in this picture. Um, again, with the reds and greens, you can kind of play with color here and do whatever floats your boat. If you wanted to match the rest of the house, definitely go ahead and do that. Um, if you want to kind of do different rooms with different themes, go ahead and do that too. I think it will give your guests something interesting to look at and kind of admire. So again here I love how this space has this beautiful tray with all of these beautiful little trinkets. I think that it is very welcoming. Again with the different types of patterns and colorways. Um, this is your time to kind of be creative with the pattern that you are choosing for your bedroom. Um, be creative when you are choosing these things. Um, again, you can kind of reuse what you had last year and maybe add in a different type of pillow, add in a different blanket, kind of style it differently. Um, I know as girls, like we usually just love to like kind of switch things up a little bit. Like for me, if something doesn't look different, then like it doesn't feel nice and new and refreshing. So I have to kind of switch things up every now and again. And so, yeah, that's exactly what I'm planning for the 2024 um, Christmas season this year. So um, definitely 
thinking about a couple of different ideas that I want to incorporate into my space. So I hope that you guys stay inspired. There's a lot more coming up here for you guys to kind of look at and jot down some ideas of what you guys would like to incorporate into your seasons into your holiday season. So definitely keep on watching and I have a lot more wonderful um, ideas clipped for you guys here in the next few clips. So go ahead and keep on watching and give this video a thumbs up and go ahead and comment down below what your favorite um, room to decorate is and then tell me which section of the video was most intriguing to you. I love when we interact with each other. Um, it definitely helps these videos to um, be seen by other people and then they can get the idea and it kind of gets the ball rolling. So definitely interact with me in the comment section. I love answering your questions and whatever else you guys have. So let's go ahead and get a couple more ideas of what you can do with your bedroom decorations.
I hope that this video was very helpful to you. So I really wanted to leave you guys with a little bit of time to just kind of look over everything and see what you liked and what you didn't like and kind of jot down what you um, wanted to do for the 2024 Christmas season. So I hope that this inspiration guide was very helpful to you. So go ahead and comment below your favorite part of this video. And thank you so much for watching.